So besides the dairy farm, greenhouses, and farm stand, the thing Collins Farm is mostly known for is the entertainment value it provides. Thousands of people visit here each year to explore the 13-acre corn maze that was previously voted number one in the state. Known for its unique freehand designs, its special events such as the flashlight maze, the haunted events, and wagon rides, plus the delicious food, it's already a yearly tradition for so many people. But not many people know about the Adventure Trail. And although I am excited to release the design idea for this year's corn maze, I would much rather spend this episode giving you a tour of our amazing and fun escape room style Adventure Trail. So stick around, watch, comment, and enjoy this episode of Behind the Farm. The Western-themed adventure trail is kind of like an escape room combined with an obstacle course. Players work together to solve puzzles and navigate obstacles while also competing for a high score. The storyline follows that of Sheriff Boone, who is chasing the notorious outlaw Wild Willie. Players get more of the story at each chapter station and have to use clues found along the way to finally capture Wild Willie at the end of the trail. Every obstacle, puzzle, and game was handmade by yours truly. Not only did I hand weave the rope courses myself, but I also engineered a few unique interactive puzzles. All in all, it took approximately five months of 100 hour work weeks to put it all together. Nice rainy day down here at the trail, but just because it's raining doesn't mean the work stops. Right here, we're at chapter six called Cobblestone Way. I'm about to uncover it and see how it's doing after a long winter. Cobblestone Way is just one of my favorite chapters. Players have to solve a riddle to cross the pressure sensitive platform. It actually took quite a bit of trial and error engineering to make it work, but in the end, it's a crowd pleaser. Step on the wrong letter and a red X lights up while stepping on the correct letter illuminates a green check mark. Not only is the adventure trail incredibly fun, interactive, and highly rated by guests who have experienced it, but it also gives players a chance to explore a big chunk of the land and wildlife here on the farm that you can't even see from the road. But there's a problem I've been dealing with this spring. The ice jam flooding not only continues to erode the banks along the river, but it also wiped out roughly a quarter of the chapters along the trail. So I just came over here to pick up my chapter six sign, which the river washed from way over there behind my car. That's where it was. As another example, the footbridge I built across a small brook got completely destroyed by rising waters. It's currently in pretty rough shape, but nothing that some sweat, tools, and tender loving care can't fix. I hope to have the entire trail up and running for guests to enjoy within a few weeks. And now we make it down to Wild Willie's hideout. This is the password panel where you have to manipulate these rods up and down and lock in the correct code using the letters you've gathered on your journey. And one cool feature is actually self-resetting. When I open the door after getting the combination right, everything drops back down to its original starting position. Wild Willie's inside. And when you close the door, everything locks back into place. Now a lot of the repairs I'm doing this spring are actually pretty minor, like this puzzle station just needs a staple or two, and it'll be right back where it's supposed to be. And I'm really not too worried about showing you what the puzzle says, because there's actually two things you're looking for at each puzzle station. You're looking for the answer, and also a hidden letter. So unless you know exactly where to look, you're not going to find it in this video. Here's another effect of uh, letting things winter over to see how it'll do. That used to be a tent. This is my haunted campsite, one of the chapters in the story. Everything's in decent shape, but that tent definitely uh, <laughs> needs some needs a little bit of love. This cannot be sanitary. Yum. I dump it out, but it's actually screwed to the table along with everything else. Guests who have successfully completed the trail have nothing but positive things to say about it so far. And while a video tour doesn't exactly do justice to how entertaining and challenging the trail really is, 
It is my hope that it will help Collins Farm Adventure Trail become just as much of a yearly family tradition as the corn maze has become. I'm Corey Collins. Please share this video with your friends and tune in next time for another episode of Behind the Farm.